I think for, for us, um, there's just a lot of optimism with where we are uh, as a franchise. And to be honest with you, it's really tied to the young core. I've never had that come across uh, from Dan. We've had really candid conversations this year. Uh, I've been here almost 10 years and, and I know my guy pretty well. Um, we, you know, it's, it's interesting. Like we're three short years removed from four straight finals. Um, and when we came out of that, we really didn't have young talent or draft assets. We, we had to go all in, which is the appropriate thing to do during that, that time. And what Dan allowed us to do is rip the bandaid right away and, and, and replenish, um, our draft assets and, and build through the draft. And he gave us um, an extension, not just myself, the entire front office an extension two years ago because he believed in our leadership and he believed in our plan. Um, and he wanted and he saw some of the fruits of our labor. Um, I think since we've taken over, we've added three additional first round picks. We've added 13 additional second round picks. OK, we've added four really talented players through the draft um, and we're going to add another one. And I think that is how he's judging us. Right. If we if we again, like I said before, if we missed on some of these picks. Right. And we haven't been gifted a top three pick yet. Um, you know, nothing that was sort of like hands down. You have to draft that guy. Um, I think we've done remarkably well uh, to where we are now, uh, three years removed from really not having much. And so I think that, I mean, that, I know that's how he's judging us. I do think that, you know, we as an organization want to take a step forward with this young talent. Uh, but from, you know, this three year, uh, run that we're, we're on, um, I think we're in remarkably healthy shape and, and that's, that's the conversations I have about it with him about what's Isaac going to do this off season. I'm excited about what I saw at the end of the season with him. Um, you know, Dan's still very much engaged and we've had great conversations about the future. I think he can really help us. I really do. Um, and what was hard for him this year is he was never fully healthy. Uh, he missed a significant amount of time with a calf injury. Uh, probably came back too soon, even though he missed almost 40 games. That yeah. sent him back again. Um, and then when he finally uh, came back, he wasn't fully healthy. What I will say is when you saw the, the biggest jump from, from Darius was when Kevin came back. And really? – um, you know, that's not a coincidence. You know, Darius put together uh, a large chunk of games, almost 25 games, where he was an incredible playmaker, uh, creativity, imagination, real production. And when you ask Darius, you know, does Kevin help you? How, how does he help you? Do you like playing with Kevin? His eyes light up because there's so much more spacing on the floor and, and Kevin knows how to play. Kevin creates a gravity to, to our offense. And, and the guys love playing with him because of that. Now, he needs to get right, Tom. He needs to get his body right. This is a significant offseason for him uh, to get his legs underneath him. Um, and, and he showed some glimpses of what he can do for us. Uh, I think his last game he played for us had six three-pointers and uh, it was fun to watch the Kevin of old there. Um, but I think he has a place here with us because we need that veteran leadership. When we talk to the, the, the younger group, about that leadership, Kevin does that for us and off the, off the court as well. And so um, we, we, we want him to be here. We signed him to an extension for that reason, to be here when we want to make that next step. And so we're gonna, you know, we're going to um, hopefully rely on him heavily next year uh, after a significant summer. Andre was great for us. We got him at the deadline at a really, really low cost. And he was a calculated risk. And we had some success with Andre. Andre, um, I think it's, it's very transparent that when we go out and, and trade for a future franchise center uh, who's 22 years old at the time, that there was going to be some tension there. And, and we tried to make it work. But when you trade for somebody uh, that plays your position, um, that is a significant piece to our future, that's going to be tough. And so I, I don't know how I needed to explain that versus we tried to make it work, actually. Uh, brought Jared off the bench. We actually tried to start them together, which didn't work. 
and it was tough for Andre. It wasn't fair to Andre. I know Andre for a very long time. Um, I've known him since he's 16 years old in USA basketball when I was a lowly towel kid. Um, and he's, he's a great dude. And I didn't want to put him in a position in a, in a position where going into a contract year um, that we're, we're, we're going to uh, play him less and, and mess up his stats. I wasn't going to do that to him. And so we came to a resolution with him and his agent that made sense for him to, to sit out um, and, and, and still be with the team, still get his workout in. If we couldn't come to a trade resolution, we were going to let him go to wherever he wanted to go. And I'm really happy that he's um, on a team that has a, ch- a chance to win a championship. And I'm personally really happy for him. Um, but but um, nothing was done wrong to him. And I don't quite understand. I don't know how else I can explain that. And I wouldn't have done a press conference based on that. It was challenging. It was a very difficult decision that we had to make. Um, a lot of it, I'm going to keep private. And obviously, I'm not going to go too deep into the weeds. But I'll tell you this, Jason, it's, it, it wasn't for lack of effort uh, from both parties. I think we, we spent a lot of time, a lot of resources trying to make it work, trying to re-ingratiate him to the team. This thing's fragile. It's a, it's a fragile thing. And, and the culture that we're trying to create, we have to have a level of integrity that we, we're trying to live by and, and, and grow that young talent uh, to hopefully win. And so, uh, and that doesn't, I mean, that's, that's for everybody. And so I think the change of scenery uh, was needed from both parties. I, we wish him nothing but the best in Houston. Uh, I know him personally. Uh, we're recruiting him. And I said, we, we scouted him extensively. Um, I knew sort of the background uh, when we, we took it, when we took him. Um, and it was a calculated risk and, and, it, and it didn't work out.